Fucking show. Stupid, dude. I'm over. I really feel like going home, dude. Okay, so say they do fucking get here at 2 o'clock, you play at 2.15. How do you play next to someone who fucking is a stupid idiot? Hey, we're not going to make it. If you see him, we're just going to take off. So if you see him, just say, how was the show, you know? But thank you so much for setting up. The one day that matters, the whole tour, Brian and I getting mad at each other because they weren't there. This is probably one of the bigger shows of the tour for the second stage because it's a radio show and so there's a lot of people. They're going to be waiting around outside with nothing to do. So the second stage is kind of probably, this is probably one of the best days to actually play the second stage. So it's just strange to me that Chris puts his own comfort. Like he'd rather go out and not be in the van. <laughs> he'd rather be on the bus with Tom and not be part of his band that's having to suffer and ride in the van <laughs> and miss the biggest opportunity for his band than, I don't know, than be part of his team. It's just strange to me. Everyone's super pissed at us. And not only that, we go up and see where we're gonna, what we're supposed to be playing, and there's like 3,000 people just standing right there. It was like a full radio festival with the biggest side stage we would have gotten to play on. I realize you guys are bad, but I don't think we should just give up. What do you mean just give up? up dude? No, I'm saying, I mean, else. I said I was gonna be here on time. Not I'm yesterday, here. dude. You guys I know. Yesterday. I tried. You I had all day yesterday to get to. I know. I thought. Hotel. I thought we were. Tom said we were gonna be here last night. You know, night. Tom doesn't do that shit, though. Basically, the people who are setting up the show and who are doing the sound for it, were like, you guys are idiots. Hello, you guys are playing this show. You're not here. You guys are dumb. You guys don't know what it's like to pull up in the six bands sitting there that are playing at five thirty and have been there since nine thirty in the morning. And we're pulling up and they're like, dude. Who the fuck are these guys? And the skate guys are like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck that, I was so, I'm so pissed off. But the problem is, you fucked up so many times, it's just an assumption. Well, I think that they, that was kind of like a, a lesson learned for those guys about the real side of being in a van, and that, you know, it is a lot of fun, and it's a lot of hanging out with your friends, and that's why we all love it so much, but there is an element of responsibility and work to it as well. I'm sorry for being an asshole. You know, what could you have done that you will do next time to make sure it all goes good? Not ever go on your bus again. No. How about the Get to a show on time. There you go. I'll let you guys punch me in the face. Yeah, yeah, go. You're so mad. And like 20 minutes later, we're all just hanging out. Like, what happened? Natural whip it factory? So you go out the gates, you make a left, you go down, and then you see the nitrous the stock. And then you keep going, I'm all, wait, what? The nitrous what? He's all the nit the natural nitrous stuff. You plug up the water and like cause the water pumps out like this gas stuff and in the back is like this hose you like stick your mouth on and <laughs> so try it. So wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I haven't done it. Yet. <laughs> wait, you're sucking out some random pipe underneath. I didn't the do it. <laughs> it's just like America. It's up and to the north. It's the beautiful world, it's Toronto, Canada. Toronto, for some reason, was like wild. The show we got to play was on the water like, at the Molson Amphitheater. We came up from that beach. <laughs> and there was like three police boats in the water looking for us. We were already having drinks on the balcony of our biggest backstage room we've ever had by the time this was all going on. Hey, what kilometer per hour does that boat go, eh? Don't worry about us. Hey, one, two, one, two, three. Who are you with this camera? said I've never been so fucking insulted. So, okay. He, this guy comes to my fucking dressing room, right? He comes into my room. Some person has the audacity to request a photo with him in my dressing room. When I'm fucking standing right there. And that's what I fucking, that's a knife in my Shut back. Shut up! Hi, eight ball right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If I heated this up as much as I can, who's gonna get branded? When We're you not... take these things off, it looks like a fucking crown and you can make it into a tattoo like you're the king of the world kind of shit. Chris, if I heated this up, can I brand you? No. Come on, man. On ca fucking hurt. <laughs> but you put a little Nina Spar on, it'll be fine, I swear. Brand me. Were you on it? No. And sitting outside, I didn't really think about it much. I was like, all right. Come on, okay. man. Chris. Okay. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Leave no, the plastic, it'll smell better. It'll smell better. No, no the plastic no will be plastic. bad. He doesn't yeah, want to get no plastic, plastic on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it? Sure. You're gonna yeah. get branded right now. Yeah. Yes. But don't hurt me. What? Chris, you're not gonna really brand your ass, are you? Don't yes. don't talk him out of that. Don't you see, Brian? You see what will happen if I don't do this? Don't do it! No! No! I'm the voice of reason, baby! No, it's gonna hurt, huh? yes. no, it's not! Yeah. Fuck you, Brandon! You're a piece of shit! Oh, fuck. There's already 20 people around me, like, heating the thing up. It's gotta get <laughs> No, it has to be hot, so it doesn't... Oh. Dude, you, got, you are grade A fucking deep. Oh, my God. What are you gonna do? The king of punk rock is telling you to brand your ass with a pool cue. You do it. And I just remember hearing the countdown and, like, each number, like, vision of my, like, little ass. This white, perfectly soft Five, little thing. Four, three, two, one! Third. Almost, yeah. No, it's not even that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. No, we got one first aid kit right now. We've got a medic coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 38 burns. Did he He's really? He's kind of a little burn, eh? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, I'm sorry. Because that's like second degree. Okay, we're on record right now. Oh, sorry, it's going on the third. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do you think, <laughs> Brian? What do you think? <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. What did that happen? Um, I fell down a hot poker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the deal? One time. Uh, did they did they make a determination? Are you a total fucking idiot? <laughs> what is it? First or second degree burn? Second. Second. Is that on a second scale of one to like ten? Right, sure. But the pool's shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Billy. Hey, this is my friend Chris. You gotta recognize him from fucking. Yeah. Being stupid. <laughs> oh, dude. What an idiot. Oh, no. It no. happens. That was one of the gnarliest things I've ever seen in my life. Dude, you got the fucking gnarliest dingleberry right here. But some of the born inside the crack. My friend Chris got hurt tonight, and it makes me feel bad for him. And you know, it's all fun and games until someone's ass gets burned till the skin's completely black and falling off his body.